Hey, many fish. It is the 2nd of July, 2021. I sincerely, and I say this every time because it is so true, I pray for all of you, for all the world, that they can come to the truth that is in Jesus Christ. And the main reason I'm not really using YouTube much lately, or others for that matter, I mean, they are, they're just removing videos willy-nilly. I'm still able to upload, obviously. Uh, but, let's face it, you know, YouTube, Google, Alphabet, on and on, you know, this family of companies are literally run by Satan's minions, period. They're influenced by these disembodied, wicked, rebellious spirits, and they're completely given over to as, remember Gordy Rose's little talk that he had with all of us back in the day to reveal literally what's going on? He likes to call them the Lovecraftian ancient old ones, or you could say fallen angels, because that's what they are. And they're rebelling against God because they believe they can do a better job than God and be free to do as they will. In liberty, licentious, not legitimate liberty. So let's just hear what Gordy said, uh, shall we? And listen, watch, and discern carefully. My previous company was D-Wave. I'll just uh, show you a couple things. We built what are still the world's only quantum computers that you can buy. So D-Wave builds quantum computers. The way that they work, if you know this, how this works, is one of the interpretations is that you tap into these parallel universes and they one do computations. One of the guys who talks about this is Elon, who uh, says things like this. Like, when you do this, beware. Because you think, just like the guy in the stories, that when you do this, you're going to put that, that, that little guy in a pentagram and you're going to have your holy water out and you're going to wave it at the thing, and by God, it's going to do exactly what you say and not one thing more, but it never works out that way. So uh, this, is an, this is an attitude that some are having, this emerging alarmism about the way this is going to go. But this, these words, demons, doesn't capture the essence of what's happening here. Uh, I don't know if any of you are uh, turn-of-the-century weird fiction fans, but there's this guy named H.P. Lovecraft, who's a very famous American weird fiction author. And he exposed a, a view which is called cosmicism. And the essence of cosmicism is cosmic indifference. So he, what he was saying is basically, yes, there are these massively intelligent entities out there, but they're not good, they're not evil. They just don't give a shit about you even in the slightest. The same way that you don't care about an ant is the same way they're not going to care about you. And these things that we're summoning into the world now are not demons, they're not evil, but they're more like the Lovecraftian great old ones. There are entities that are not necessarily going to be aligned with what we want. So this transition is really, really massively important for our entire species to navigate and going back to that thing that Sam Harris was saying nobody is paying attention this thing is happening in the background while people bicker about politics and what what's going to be in the health care plan in the US and underneath it all is this rising tsunami that if we're not careful is going to wipe us all out
those look like some reasonable creatures, huh? This is what will dictate the entirety of the digital realm, as we're being told through our Nephilim-loving minions at the World Economic Forum. They will be the overlords of the Internet of Everything, including your free will and your very soul if you're not saved in Jesus Christ under his blood. They care about you like an ant, until, of course, the ant points out it's a liar and a thief and a murderer and has no power whatsoever over those who truly indwell the spirit of the living God. Only by the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, learn of him. It's so imperative. I mean, it's obvious what time it is. I'm only using YouTube to send information that I might upload on other platforms. You know, as long as I'm led and or as long as it's available to do so. Okay, that's just what I'm doing for now. It's all in God's hands. And he's given us his word, which is Jesus Christ. And it was finished at the cross, period. Believe on Jesus with a sincere and a humble heart. And when he does send his spirit to dwell with you, you will know that you are his. And that you're sealed until the day of redemption in this wicked, dark insane world is not your home but in heaven where you're an eternal citizen so god bless each and every one of you i truly mean it and uh look for notifications or whatever i'm, I'm being led a little bit more here to start sharing some more stuff so god willing I'll be talking soon peace and grace to all of you many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 